Now every year, anglers, commercial netters, birds, dolphins, even seals and a lot of predatory fish awaits the coming of those little silver sardines. Millions of them moving up the Natal coastline and weather dependent if they come close enough for the netters to put a net around them. This is quite a phenomenon and can range between maybe three days up to three months a year if the currents and the weather plays along. This lures in hundreds if not thousands of sports anglers wanting to target those bigger sharks as well as the game fish that follows the sardines. The early morning for the netters started at Pennington but turned out to be a no-show and quickly they received news at Baisley Beach of some larger shoal sardines sitting close in. They were quickly on it and managed to get some nets around. One of the nets opened on the shore and Jace was quick to put another net around that, resulting in quite a few baskets of sardines. Now the commercial netters have this very small window of opportunity a year to make some money, creating quite a few jobs for the locals in each area. Now the netting of sardines is no easy task and can be very risky and dangerous as often they launch in places not really designated for launching boats and depending on the size of the sea this can be quite dangerous. When fishing in the sardine run it really gives you an advantage if you can get some freshly netted sardines as bait. So one netter dropped around the other netter and it was flipping awesome. Visa and Moonlight and Kevin on the other side. And it was unbelievable. We've been running around the whole morning looking for fish. And we got a call come to Baisley, there's fish in the bay. We got down here and the whole ocean was just like an oil sink. So we got the boats in the water and managed to get about 50, 60 crates. So that's an awesome catch for the day. A lot more fish, a lot of shark activity. I've been watching the sharks the whole morning eat this fish. So the guys with the drones, if we get down to Baisley, we're going to have fun. Even if you fish tonight, you're going to go tight, boys. So come down here. And you need to have some of the food that's available to the fish, so we quickly just grab some sauce. Messy box for the sardine run. <laughs> As it should be. Hey guys, the whole objective is to get stretched. And another very big challenge is the amount of rods and fishing line that surrounds you when there's a lot of action. This particular morning at Baisley, there were no sharks around or any visible sports fish, but it's always still worth it to have a throw. And definitely worth it to throw some artificial lures, like plugs and spoons, for the predatory game fish that follows the sardines. Quite often, the garrick or leophus, as it's also known in South Africa, 
will move in front of the banks and close enough inshore to take your plugs. A few days later, there was again a lot of action at Pennington Beach, close to the ski boat club. Yeah, guys, first bait out. As Andre N walks up to me, I get pulled. And something failed, but we'll check what it was now. Okay, nothing failed. The hook pulls. That's all that happened, the hook pulls. Uh, definitely a black fin, but I saw it go straight up in the air. You can see all the grazes, but lost my sinker. You got another bait out there. The drone anglers definitely have an advantage during the sardine run to get a nice big bait quite far and almost guarantee of a good bite, as opposed to the rock and surf anglers that can only really target the fish if they come right in and the tide allows it. I said, let me try and get a bait in the boat and see if I can hook one of those cooter. Right? I can guarantee you if I didn't get a cooter or I got a great white. I'm not a skipper, the great white guy. Now Jason then netted a couple of nets of sardines this morning at Pennington, after which the sharks followed. much but when he gets down to the beach it's always nice when we catch a fish so we can get him more often down to the beach and what do you feel uh, it feels good it feels good <laughs> enjoy it feel good. <laughs> it's good 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 he's good he's nice <laughs> Now targeting these sharks, it is essential that you understand the handling of them and that you use the right tackle to target them. And that's only 20% of the challenge. With so many sharks around, you often get bitten off or cut off with other sharks swimming into your line. To Jace, this is the norm, as every year when he nets sardines, he takes the time to target some of these bigger sharks and has got a very successful landing rate. This particular afternoon, several bigger sharks were landed, of which most of them were grey sharks, ranging up to 400 kilos. It is a good place to start, but make sure you take advice from experienced anglers on what tackle to use. Being surrounded by a lot of experienced anglers on the beaches during the sardine run helps and can assist you in successfully landing these beasts. Make sure you ask questions or the assistance of the experienced anglers around you. Now it wasn't long and Jace was in on another fish. Little did he know that this will be a prize fish. Fighting these bigger sharks on spinning gear is quite a challenge on its own, as you are using very heavy braided line, allowing no stretch and is very direct. With all sharks you can expect a couple of very erratic and sudden moves and have to respond quite fast with your rod and reel. This particular species of shark being even more erratic And what a surprise to see such an enormous spinner shark in excess of 170 kilos. These sharks are extremely acrobatic and really good fighters. Well done Jace for landing such a trophy specimen under the heavy sea conditions and with all the other lions and sharks in the water. Truly a great achievement. Spinner, 
female. Uh, 2.210 centimeters female. For the nice fight. I had to go run down the beach. I tried to keep it here, but there was too many lines crossing me. Eventually, I cleared up all the lines, going back here, and I knew this was a flat beach when I landed. As you look, that part of the beach is very steep. You're not hiding there. You have to be official, wash it in. But yeah, it worked well. Well done.